Yo, what's up? So today we're going to be talking about the different possible roles there are in duos. This is a complicated topic just because duos share a lot of the same responsibilities. And depending on the strengths and weaknesses of the two members, roles are distributed differently. And I'm going to try to break this down for you the best I can in this video. First thing I want to tell you guys is that I run Zone Wars on my stream about once or twice a week. And we're going to start doing duo Zone Wars our zone wars get really sweaty, so if you're trying to practice solos or duos, come check out the stream and play some zone wars with us, it'll be fun. The link is in my bio, but let's hop into this video. To start out, let's get an understanding of the possible strengths and weaknesses that you can have. This includes ping, aim, AR aim and shoddy aim, mechanics, fighting sense, and game sense as a solo player. It's important to try to get as many strengths as possible. To do this, you need a good practice routine. I talk about me and my duos practice routine in my video called How to Prepare for Dreamhack Duos. You need to be practicing all of these categories, aim, mechanics, fighting sense, game sense, just working on making yourself as good as possible because if both of you are nasty at the game, then you're gonna be a nasty duo once you build that chemistry. You need to be consistent with your practice if you wanna see that big improvement. Practice your weaknesses every single day. The other important thing to know is how to combine each other's strengths by having specific roles in different scenarios. And this is gonna be the main topic of the video, so let's get it. The first scenario we're gonna be talking about is early game. In early game, you need to learn how to loot and get together quickly. Me and my duo land weather station in Lazy, and we are always talking about where we're gonna be landing specifically, who has the better drop for different spots, where the opponents are going, etc. We try to get together as quickly as possible once we get like a gun or two, and if one of us gets pushed, we immediately run to the other person and prepare to fight with the loot we have. The most important thing is to be together in early game and be communicating. You do not want to get split and take a 1v2 if that's not necessary. Let me know if you want me to make an early game tutorial just how to fight on early game and how to master a drop spot in duos. I did that for solos and a lot of you guys liked it, so let me know if you want to see it again for duos. So the second scenario we're going to be talking about is fighting and W keying. So me and my duo have two different roles, one's the support role and the other is the leader role. When W keying, the person who has better mechanics and ping should be the main aggressor or the leader. This person should be the one trying to get a big pump up close. The support role is meant to help the leader get that first frag in the fight. There are many, many, many fighting scenarios, and I'll be making more videos on how to fight as a duo, but I'll just list a few situations for now. The first situation we're gonna talk about is when the support role is spraying with the AR from a medium distance away, while the leader is up close looking for an angle. The support role is supposed to be pressuring the opponents and making them kind of shambles by spraying at them with the AR, while the leader is maybe sneaking around or pushing a wall, trying to get a safe frag. If the supporter isn't spraying with the AR, then the opponents will be nice and calm and they'll be able to figure out where the leader is and take him out. But with the spray from the AR, they're kind of shambles and the leader might be able to sneak up and get that easy frag. Keep some pressure on, I'll kill one of them. 45. Frag. The other one just on height looking at me. Dead. He's coming for you, I'm coming here. The second situation we're going to talk about is when you're pushing a wall. The support role should be spraying at the wall and the leader is trying to grab the wall because the leader is the one with the low ping. Once the leader gets the wall, he can edit an angle for the support role to shoot at the opponents. The support role at that point, before the leader makes the edit, the support role should have his shotgun out so that when the leader makes the edit, he can shoot immediately. There's no shotgun delay. If the opponents are trying to run away, the support role should keep shooting the walls and the leader keep grabbing them and start running an edit course on them. This is how to peace control as a duo. I just made a video two days ago on how to peace control as a duo and I even made a creative map where you guys can practice it in. So if that sounds like something that'll help you out, go check out that video. And I'll have another video on it soon going into a lot of detail with in-game examples. Last situation is when it's a 2v1. You should both be pushing the player, trying to get in their face, spamming AR, etc. 
You can try to get on both sides of him and make it so the opponent has nowhere to run. Just try to trap your opponent and finish him as fast as possible because you don't want to be chasing this guy around for like 30 minutes, you know what I mean? But that's enough about fighting for now. I'll have more coming out on that soon, so stay tuned. Let's get into the next set of duo rules. When it comes to rotating, the person with better solo sense should be leading the rotations in early, mid, and late game. As the leader in rotating, your main focus should be getting your teammate to zone safely and swiftly. In late game, you would be the tunneler for the tarper if you're on high ground, and when on low ground, you should be putting you and your duo in a good place to get frags, stay ahead of zone, pressuring and attempting to take height, and setting your duo up for victory. As a leader, you need to have good mechanics. You should be practicing your mechanics every day. I have plenty of videos on how to improve mechanics, so if you're struggling, check those out. I'll link them in the description for you. The other player is the supporter slash fragger. This player needs to stick with your leader. Don't get distracted. If you have an idea, be sure to speak with your leader before making it so that you are both on the same page. Because if you guys get split, like that's not good. Your guys are gonna be pretty screwed and there might be some arguments, you know? You gotta be communicating at all times. So the supporter in late game should be the person following in the tunnel slash tarp looking for picks. You should be refreshing your leader's mats anytime you can and letting the leader know if there's an opportunity for a refresh. Or if you're being psychoed in the tunnel, you gotta let them know that too. The best time to get picks is when you're way ahead in zone and when you're on height. Let's talk a little bit about when you're on height. Both players should be looking for people who are psychoing height. You need to be communicating. As soon as you see someone psychoing for height, you both need to pressure them to drop. You should be spraying the people who are second closest to height. They are the biggest danger for you and need to be forced to drop. And you should be trying to spray the same opponents. Try to communicate so that you guys are both spraying at one team at the same time. Mark people and spray together for the best chance to get kills. If you're just a solo spraying at a duo, the chances of you even getting a tag are slim. But if you're double spraying somebody, then it's a lot more difficult to protect. One more thing I should say about rotating is that you guys can communicate together to figure out the best rotate. The way me and my duo handle it is by both saying an idea for the rotation and then the IGL, the leader, makes the final decision. So we each say our idea super fast and then the leader decides and that's what we do. But leader, make sure you're listening to their ideas because they have good ideas. And then support role, you gotta trust in your leader. He's gonna make mistakes, it's a hard role to fill, but you guys gotta stay positive, keep, keep each other motivated, you know? So let's recap a little bit. In early game, you are working together to get some loot and then quickly get together to either loot some more or push slash defend from enemies. When fighting, there is a leader and a supporter. The support should be helping the leader to get picks and pressuring the opponents with ARs at all times. You should be working together to peace control and trap your opponents, and I'll have some more about that soon. When rotating, there is the leader and the support. The rules can be different from when you're fighting to rotating. Like for example, the leader in fighting can be the support when rotating. It's just based on whoever's strengths best fit the rules and the different scenarios. So you gotta figure that out as a duo. Figure out who's gonna be who in different parts of the game. But the leader when rotating should be putting you in a place to get kills and most importantly win, while the support should be fragging and refreshing the leader's mats. I hope this video helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and let me know any video ideas you want me to explore in the future. I write down everyone's comments and make videos on the topics that I'm most educated in out of those comments. So let me know what you wanna see and I'll see if I can make it happen. Leave a like and subscribe if this helped and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hello. <laughs> I fly by you now. Later boys. I just did the three metal. Clutch this game. 40 boys.